Hi dear students hope you are all doing good so today uh, we are coming with a new chapter that is solutions very important chapter from chemistry side and we will discuss three most important concept from the initial topics of the chapter solutions okay i hope all of you are ready okay let's start with the question the question here is for preparing a 0.1 molar solution of sulfuric acid in 1 liter we need h2so4 equal to how much grams of h2so4 we need in order to prepare a 0.1 molar solution of h2so4 having a total volume of 1 liter clear so this is the question so let's see how to find this question so fundamentally they are speaking about molarity so we should know what is molarity and what is its formula so fundamentally molarity means what is molarity indicates it indicates the number of moles of solute present in i can write it like number of moles of solute present in 1 liter solution present in 1 liter solution so this is fundamentally the definition of molarity now if you look at the formula of molarity molarity is nothing but weight in gram by molar mass that is nothing but number of moles of solute divided by volume of the solution represented in liters so here in this question they are telling they are going to prepare a 0.1 molar solution so that's why i am taking the molarity as 0.1 okay and you need to identify to prepare this 0.1 molar solution how much gram how much weight of sulfuric acid is required so i don't know that so i am putting that as weight in gram and what is the molar mass of sulfuric acid which is the solute here because here you have a solution that is made up of solute which is sulfuric acid with the water okay yeah so molar mass of the solute here is h2so4 if you calculate that you will get it as 98 okay so here uh, even you can note it down so this is sulfuric acid h2so4 so the molar mass of sulfuric acid is 98 this you need to calculate it by yourself it's very easy right now once you have calculated that substitute here 98 okay then we know volume of the solution they are telling very clearly it's a 1 liter solution so i have kept it 1 liter itself and that is given in liters also okay so now what is weight in gram sir weight in gram can be obtained by cross multiplying these two okay that is 98 into 0.1 and you will get the answer as 9.8 g so i got the answer as 9.8 and the two important things you need to know about sulfuric acid this is fundamentally the structure of sulfuric acid h2so4 now you can see here sulfuric acid is a dibasic acid what does that mean because the two hydrogen atoms present here one here one here which is connected to oxygen atoms they are ionizable that means it can be broken and it can liberate 2h+ one sulfuric acid can give rise to 2h+ and the other important thing you need to know about molarity is if you look at the formula of molarity we know that there is a volume term is present we know that volume depends on temperature hence i can say molarity depends on temperature but there are other uh, concentration terms which does not depend on temperature for example molality mole fraction and percentage by weight all these things if you are seeing it does not have a volume term that is the reason it is independent of temperature okay now let's see the find out the answer from the options so we got the answer as 9.8 g and it is present here yeah what is the option sir i hope all of you might have got it so option 4 that is 9.8 g is my correct answer clear i hope this is clear for you okay so can we proceed to the next important question hmm yeah so we have the next question for you i hope you could see the question all of you please read the question that is very important okay the question here is what is the normality of a 1 molar h3po4 solution okay so first we need to know h3po4 is a what type of acid whether it's a monobasic acid or whether it's a dibasic acid and next we need to know how a normality can be related to molarity how they are related we need to know these two important things in order to answer this question okay so let's go with the concept 
so you have h3po4 structure i have given here i have drawn here so from this you can easily see there are three hydrogen atoms which is being connected to an electronegative atom like oxygen so whenever hydrogen is connected to an electronegative atom it is easily ionizable or that means this hydrogen can be donated as h plus this can also be donated as h plus and even this can be donated as h plus so that is the reason why since it is capable of donating 3 h plus we will call this as a tri basic acid clear now next thing we need to know here is how the normality and molarity are connected so this is a very very important formula normality is nothing but molarity into n factor and what is this n factor n factor is all about how much amount of it is different thing for example an acid it represents the basicity okay h3po4 is an acid and for an acid n factor would be its basicity what is basicity how much amount of h plus it can donate we know it can donate 3 h plus so its basicity is 3 or its n factor is equal to 3 so we know molarity of the solution is given as 1 okay and i will write it here also its basicity its basicity which is equal to n factor okay which is equal to the n factor for an acid and that is equal to 3 here okay this is for an acid this is for an acid okay so for an acid i can easily say uh, acid basicity is equal to n factor and here basicity is equal to 3 so i have substituted n factor is equal to 3 here and that is how i am getting the answer as three normal solution clear now i have clearly explained here what is an n factor so n factor fundamentally indicates the number of ionizable hydrogen atoms for an acid here h3po4 is a triabasic acid Hence, by looking at its structure, I can understand there are three ionizable hydrogen atoms are present. Hence, its basicity is equal to 3. So, tell me sir, what is its answer? All of you, which option? My answer here is option 4 would be my correct answer. Clear? I hope it is clear for you. 3 normal. Clear? So, let's go to the final question for the day. Okay? It's a very important question as well as a fundamental question actually. The question here is what is the molarity of pure water? They have not mentioned volume or anything. If you take volume as anything also you will get the correct answer. No, don't worry. So here I am assuming uh, they are talking about let me say 1 liter. If you take 2 liter also it will not go wrong. Okay. So it's 1 liter pure water I am assuming. Let's see how to do this. Very important question. So, they are asking you the molarity. Again, I am using the fundamental formula that is number of moles of the solute by volume of the solution in liters. Now, here I am considering it as a 1 liter pure water. So, tell me 1 liter will have 1000 ml. Correct? 1 liter pure water means its volume of the solution will be 1 liter or 1000 ml. Okay. Now, what is the mass of this 1 liter? Because we need to substitute for weight in gram okay so mass how we can find out we have the fundamental formula density is equal to mass by volume so what is mass mass is equal to volume into density so volume is given th that is 1000 ml and what is the density of water that is very 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 important what is the density of water this you need to remember so the density of water you need to remember sometimes they will give this in the question that is one gram per ml okay so what will happen 1000 ml into 1 gram per ml so this ml ml cancels off and you will get the mass of 1 liter water as 1000 gram or you can even remember like if it is 1000 ml the weight would be 1000 gram that's it because it is 1 multiplying by 1 if it is 5000 ml then the weight would be 5000 gram that's it now h2o has a molar mass of 18 so i can substitute here mass as 1000 gram okay molar mass as 18 okay and volume of the solution i am taking it as 1 liter okay now you will get 1000 by 18 that is nothing but 500 by 9 you cut it with the 2 
Now, if you divide this by this, you will get the answer as 55.5 molar. This is standard. If you are taking any value, if you are taking pure water, it can be 100 gram, 200 gram or even any gram. It will be always the molarity of a pure water is always 55.5 molar. I will uh, give you an example for this tomorrow. I will have another question uh, with uh, the same concept, but uh, you know, I won't seeing that it will become clear for you. So one request for all my subscribers, those who have uh, missed out some daily videos, please go to our playlist. There you can watch all the important videos related to NEET 2024. Okay, so don't skip that. It's very important. And there are some students from plus two who feel like they need a support. So clear, please. Uh, <laughs> Feel free to contact us. So we are having a wonderful crash course that is starting on March last. Okay. And you will get sufficient amount of hours to get a good practice for NEET exam. NEET 2024. So come and join Brainiacs and crack uh, NEET exam. Okay. So my answer here is which one I can mark here. Option 2 is my correct answer. Clear. So this is how we can solve questions of this type. Thank you for joining us today. Have a great day. Good night.